you're all welcome to the YouTube channel of the Korean Culture Center, a channel that provides you with helpful, informative, and educative video content about South Korean Nigeria. So this video is a compilation of the most hilarious K-dramas of all time. The movies I'll be mentioning are K-comedy good K-dramas that made us laugh so hard with noted kimchi through our nose. So if you haven't watched any of them, then you need to add them to your bucket list and binge watch because these are our top K-drama hilarity. So the least drama on our list is Steel of Nokdu. This drama is a comedy roller coaster and we laugh so hard at each given scene. This drama is about John Nokdu, a young nobleman in a whirlwind of disguises and hidden truths finds himself thrust into a village populated entirely by widows after his family faces an attack by a gang of female assassins. So to stay incognito, he adopts the guise of a woman while unraveling the village mysteries. Now, how the lead could blend in as a woman was so shocking to us. He delivered his role perfectly, and we applaud the directors of this movie for getting a cast that looked so feminine and was able to deliver his role. Funny enough, we always looked forward to his scene in the movie because they were always comedic. So, if you haven't watched this particular K drama, then you are missing a lot, trust me. The next K drama on our list is 100 Days My Prince. The main leads for this drama worked so well together and we totally loved it. While the supporting cast were great, the costumes and set looked so good. Now our favorite was a female lead. She was effortlessly funny and Dio didn't even need to try too hard because his facial expressions alone was comedic. So if you are wavering about this particular drama, please give it a go because it was totally amazing. <laughs> You might find yourself having a good chuckle at our tiny Herculean heroine. This drama is about a petite woman born with supernatural strength named Do Bong Soon. She is hired by a childish CEO to protect him from an anonymous threat. Hilarity ensues as Do Bong Soon, thanks to her new job, finds herself in an unusual situation of which she meets with equally comedic dialogue. <laughs> Fortunately, our list is Mr. Queen. If it's pure comedy you're after, then look no further than Mr. Queen. In modern day Seoul, prestigious chef Jang Bong Hwan of the President's Blue House gets caught in a scuffle that leads him to fall off a beauty. When he wakes up, he realizes he traveled back to Joseon period and his soul is now inhabiting the body of Queen Kim So Young. Mr. Queen by far is one of the funniest gay dramas that we've watched and rewatched so far. It never gets old. Now this drama was so hilarious and wonderful that we started yearning for similar shows, trust me. But no one comes close to our Mr. Queen. The actors executed their roles perfectly well and we loved it. <laughs> and here you have it guys, our top one. Welcome to Wakiki. Well, I do not recommend watching this kid in public because you'll be seen as a nut job because of the numerous laughters you'll be having. Now, if a charming easy going comedy is more your speed and cup of tea, then you might want to turn on Welcome to Wakiki. This movie centers on three aspiring artists who come together in a guest house venture in order to fund their upcoming film. The comic relief in this K-drama cannot be overemphasized. Like, we watched this K-drama with our family and every given scene was filled with laughter till our tummy ached from too much of it. We love the fact that the lead hilarious chemistry undeniably shines through in this drama. So you shouldn't be sleeping on this drama if you haven't watched Welcome to Wakiki because you're wrong. So guys, that's it for our 5 most hilarious K-dramas of all time. You can kindly leave a comment below on other hilarious K-dramas you've watched that didn't make it to our list. And also don't forget to like, share and also turn on the notification bell so as to get notified when a new video is posted on this channel. Until we come away next time, it's a bye for now. Annyeong!